just your first impression. What do you imagine is down there? A wooden shack. A wooden shack. Very good. Tell me more about this wooden shack. Where is it? It's on a farm. Mm -hmm. Describe as much as you can for me. It's a slave shack. Mm -hmm. Do you see people there? Or do you just know it's a slave shack? A woman, mm -hmm. dark skin. Mm -hmm. How is this woman with dark skin dressed? Kind of a bandana, mm -hmm. long dress, long sleeves, apron. What is she doing? Preparing a meal. Mm -hmm. Is she inside or outside? Inside. Mm -hmm. What does the inside of the shack look like? It's the wooden table. Mm -hmm. It's all wood, wooden walls. Mm -hmm. A kerosene lamp. <clears throat> Is it daytime or nighttime there? Um, I think it's night. It's night. Mm -hmm. Where do you, where does she prepare this meal? On the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. Mixing something in a bowl. Okay. What's being mixed in the bowl? Can you see? I think it's bread. Mm -hmm. And there's a wood burning stove. I think she's gonna, I think she's making bread mm -hmm. for the next day. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I think she does this every night. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you're observing this woman or do you feel that you have a body there? I can see if you have a body. I think I am her. Mm -hmm. But just acclimate yourself with that body. Tell me how you're feeling. What is your name? What's the first name that appears to you? Lucretia. Mm -hmm. uh, Lucretia. Mm -hmm. When I say the name Lucretia, does that resonate with you? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Lucretia, how old do you feel there? Late 30s. Mm -hmm. So tell me why you're baking this bread. Who is this for? It's for the people in the house. Mm -hmm. Do you get any of this bread, Lucretia? No. What do you eat? Corn. Like a gruel, oatmeal kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what you do in that house, Lucretia. I want you to close that scene and see yourself now taking that bread to where you take it every day. Serving them breakfast. Mm -hmm. Tell me who they are. and a woman. Mm -hmm. 
What do you do there? I make the food and clean, mm-hmm. take care of them. How long have you been doing this, Lucretia? Feels like forever. Mm-hmm. Years. Were you born there, Lucretia? I think so. Mm-hmm. Do you like what you do? I hate it. Mm. Tell me about it. It's endless. It just doesn't end. How are you treated, Lucretia? I might as well be furniture. I hardly get noticed. Do they ever say your name? No. What do they call you? Girl. Girl. How does that feel when they address you like that? It feels like a stab every time they say it. Mm -hmm. I hate them. I want them to die. So let's find out what else happens in your life, Lucretia? I'd like for you to now close that scene and let's go to an important scene in that lifetime when something is impacting your life. Go there now. Tell me where you are. I'm in my little wooden shack. Mm-hmm. It's cold and there's a fire in the stove mm-hmm. keeping me warm. There's a st- Fire in the stove? Yes. Mm-hmm. Very old and alone. Like an old horse they put in a stable. Mm-hmm. How old are you there? Eighties. Mm-hmm. Do you still work for the same family? Yes. What do you do now? <coughs> Too old, I just stay in the cabin. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? Alone. Uncared for. What else is happening there? Just sitting in a chair, trying to keep warm, Mm -hmm. resenting my life. Let's see what happens next, Lucretia. What's important about this scene? Just so alone. No one cares. like they treat the livestock better. Mm-hmm. What happens next? I think I just go to sleep and fade away. Mm-hmm. So as you fade away, Lucretia, as you transition out of that body, I want you to think back and tell me what was the purpose of that lifetime. What did you come here to do? To learn to be of service. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you did that? Um, Yeah, but in a weird way. Mm -hmm. It was forced upon me. Yes. What lesson did you learn from it? (coughs) 
Mm. What did you learn? That I don't want to be alone. Mm -hmm. That if I give service, I want to give it freely, mm -hmm. not forced. Very good. So, Lucretia, go ahead and leave your body behind and tell me what happens after you leave your body. Where do you go? What happens next? In the white, it's like a white cloud. Mm -hmm. Where is this white cloud? Mm -hmm. Is it above you, next to you? Around? Seems like it's above. Mm -hmm. Just in a cloud, not really much around. How does it feel to be in that cloud? Um, it's okay. I'm out of that shack. Mm -hmm. How does your body feel now? Light. Mm -hmm. Look around and see what you look like now. What do you look like? I don't think I have a body. Mm -hmm. So now that you don't have a body, you can travel anywhere. Let's see where you go after you transition into that cloud. Where do you go to next? Um, <clears throat> there's um, building sort of built into the side of a cliff with waterfalls. And mm -hmm. What are these buildings made out of? Stone. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. Mm. How tall are these buildings? The cliffs are really high. Um, the cliffs go up over the buildings. The buildings are sort of on the side of the cliff. Mm -hmm. There's gardens and fountains and there seems to be water below with the waterfall streaming <coughs> down into the water. What kind of bodies of water are they? Are they rivers? Seems or? like a river. Okay. What else do you see that's interesting there? It seems to all be interesting. Um, Kind of in an outsort, outside patio, mm -hmm. terrace that kind of overlooks the river way down below. The, across the other side, there's a high cliff with a waterfall that I can see. Mm -hmm. There's a fountain, there's beautiful flowers. Mm, what do these flowers look like? They are bright, bright oranges and reds, yellows. They almost glow. Mm -hmm. Do they look like anything you've ever seen before? Um, <clears throat> no. Mm -hmm. How big are these flowers? Um, bigger than my hands. Mm -hmm. What does the ground look like there? It's sort of a stone kind of patio. Mm -hmm. Are you next to one of the buildings? Yes. Mm -hmm. So do you feel that you have a body in this place? Um. I have a sense of a body. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? Um, Do you feel male or female there? I think male. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? 
<clears throat> Small build. Mm -hmm. um, lean. I'm wearing pants that come just below my knees. Mm -hmm. They're blue. And I have a matching jacket. Mm -hmm. Any ornaments on the jacket or pants? Uh, buttons. Mm -hmm. Gold buttons. Mm -hmm. And there might be some trim, like mm -hmm. some braid trim. Yes. Do you think that this is perhaps some sort of a uniform? Um, it doesn't feel like a uniform. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, it doesn't have a military feel. Mm -hmm. um, do you have shoes on? I do, black shoes mm -hmm. with a buckle. Very good. What does your, your facial look, look like? What, what um, <clears throat> it's sort of rounded. It looks almost cherub, like a cherub, mm -hmm. sort of. Yes. But not, not overly puffy. Mm -hmm. What about your hair? Uh, it's long and a ponytail. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Um, 30. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you're doing in this place? Um, I'm not sure. I'm just kind of standing there looking out over the mm -hmm. water. It's a magnificent view, isn't it? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. awesome. Are there any things that, that fly in the air in that place? Um, around? Flying. Mm -hmm. Look up in the sky. Is there anything in the air? Oh, there's like a kind of a flying contraption. Hmm. What does it look like? It's sort of, um, it doesn't seem to have wings. It's sort of like a, looks like a blimp, but possibly made of metal. Mm-hmm. Sort of. Mm-hmm. Kind of steampunk kind of looking mm -hmm. contraption. Mm -hmm. Looks kind of rustic. Um, rustic but modern. Mm -hmm. I, doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It doesn't need to make sense. What else is there? Do you see any anything on the ground? Perhaps people, animals? I don't see anyone else. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close the scene and let's go to the place where you live in this place. Let's see yourself inside of this place where you live. Be there now. Well, it's a room with bed and I have a balcony overlooking the view. Um, there seems to be <coughs> butterflies or something mm -hmm. flying outside. Um, I still don't see any people. Mm -hmm. What does your room feel like? Um, cozy. Mm -hmm. Is it large or small? Um, It's not extremely large, but it's comfortable. There's a kind of a not formality about it. It's 
it's an order. There's an order to it. Mm -hmm. Everything is put away. There's nothing laying around. Mm -hmm. that what kind of things do you see around the room? <coughs> Table. Mm -hmm. In front of a window, there's a chair. The bed. The doors going out to the balcony. Do you feel that you live in this place by yourself? It kind of feels like that. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out what it is that you do in this place. We have activities. I'd like for you to close that scene. And let's go to a time and place where you're doing something with, with others. Or riding the horse. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Beautiful white horse with long mane. There are other people around, but mm -hmm. I don't feel connected to them. It's like my I'm in my own, own space. Mm -hmm. Your own reality, perhaps? Maybe. Mm -hmm. So where do you go with your horse? We're just riding along the mountaintop, and there's beautiful plants, a forest. I can see over the cliff. It seems like it's above where I live, mm -hmm. on the top of that cliff side. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't even feel connected to the horse. I'm just riding it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm not. Re I'm just looking around. I'm not really connected to anything. Mm -hmm. It's just all sort of there. Do you feel that this is a resting place for you? Um. What does it feel like to you? Um. What's the impression that you get of this place? I'm just sort of there. I don't there get a sense of rest or recuperation of any kind. I'm just sort of there. Okay, good, good. So let's close that scene and now let's go to the time when you're making a decision to come into the life of Kevin. <laughs> See yourself there and tell me what, where you are. I'm in a room. Mm -hmm. At a table. Mm -hmm. What do you look like there? <clears throat> um, sort of wearing a robe. Mm -hmm. White robe. Yes. Simple. Not fancy. Mm -hmm. Um, there's, I don't think elders is the right word, mm -hmm. guides maybe, Yes. sort of going over things with me, mm -hmm. telling me what to expect. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what the conversation is all about. Let's break it down and let's see what's what you're discussing. Um, traveling, moving around. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's almost like they're there's a map and they're just pointing out on the map all these different places. Mm -hmm. What do you get from this map? Um, that's sort of the road ahead, I guess. Mm -hmm. Seems kind of winded and... How do you feel while you're there? Do you feel like you're participating? Um, it feels more like it's being told to me. Mm. I don't, I mean, I must have a say in it, but... Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Let's find out what the purpose of the lifetime is going to be all about. I can't quite...
quite hear what they're saying. Mm -hmm. You'll just know it. What's the purpose of... Grow. You have to grow. Mm -hmm. Big grow. Mm -hmm. A big grow? Yes. What is the purpose for this big grow at this time? Um, expanding my light mm -hmm. to go to a new level of of new level of light, a bigger light, a bigger um, to what is that? Uh, grow to a new level, a bigger level. Mm -hmm. And how are you going to do that? Well, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Mm -hmm. And all that's going to get me there, I guess. That's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Will you have a say in the people who you're born into the family? Uh, I almost feel like I was assigned to them because they're going to They're not going to be easy. They're going to make me work and learn things. Mm -hmm. How but do you feel about that going in? Not excited. Mm -hmm. Like really, almost feel tired. Mm -hmm. I have to do all that. What else are they telling you? Um. It will be worth it. It will be worth it. On the other end. Mm hmm On the return? Yes. Mm hmm Later on. Later on in life? Yes. Mm hmm And what gifts are you bringing into this new life? Um, intuition. Mm hmm Empathy. Knowingness. Knowing that what I'm being told is not the truth. And that I have an inner sense that tells me that's not the truth mm -hmm. and don't believe them. Mm -hmm. They're lying. And why are you put into that situation where you need to be around? To trust myself. Mm. And to trust... <coughs> to trust what I know. They're not going to support me in what I know. They're going to fight mm -hmm. what I think I know. I have to trust myself. Mm -hmm. And in the end, why will it be worth it to live this life? Because I will be whole. Mm. Are you not whole now? I feel like I'm very close to being whole mm -hmm. at this time. I wasn't then. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you weren't whole then? I didn't trust myself. Mm -hmm. I, I allowed others' opinions and thoughts to take precedence over mine. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in the life of that slave woman, yes. what was the reason why he chose that life? That seemed to have been very harsh life. She was completely dominated mm -hmm. and didn't know she had the power to stand up to those people. Mm -hmm. She prepared the food. She wanted them to die. She could have killed them. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't have even known what hit them. But she didn't, not out of any sense of duty, but out of a sense of being oppressed. Mm -hmm. So what was the reason for that lifetime? To wake the hell up. Mm. She didn't, didn't quite get there. Yeah. So after she left that lifetime, she went to a life with lots of waterfalls. Yeah. What was that lifetime all about? Just to be around beauty because that, that life was so lacking beauty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
be around something beautiful. Mm -hmm. And how did that impact you? I guess that was a place of rest mm -hmm. because it was it was bringing beauty into a soul that was so lacking in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful it was life. So what happened after that? Was there another lifetime after that? Um. I think there were others, but all kind of with the same theme of oppression and mm -hmm. trying to wake up and stand up for yourself and be in your light mm -hmm. and know your light and be whole and to not allow others to, to oppress you. Mm -hmm. Now, Kevin came into this lifetime with very difficult beginnings. Yes. And he doesn't even remember what happened. Right. Why is that? Why can't uh, he remember his childhood? It's not important. Mm. It was just more of the same. Oppression, being held down. Mm -hmm. Re remembering it doesn't help yes. to um, step into the light and hold your own power, which mm -hmm. he is now be doing. Mm -hmm. He's been doing it, and he's waking up. Yes, well, he seems to still be alienated from his family. Why is that? Um... It's not, he didn't come here to be with them. He mm -hmm. came here to be oppressed, mm -hmm. held down, and he had to fight his way free. Mm -hmm. So that's what he's done. So there's influence from his mother, his sexual preferences, everything is part of the plan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's he doing? Great. <laughs> Amazingly great. Why is it that since he's here and he's doing so great, why is he isolating himself from so many people? Why is that happening? Well, that's just the way he always handled it. Mm. The oppression and being held down. It's, he would isolate. And, um... You know, I guess he's not willing to shine the light out and let other people see it. Is that one of, one of the reasons why he's here today, for you to tell him that? Possibly, yes. Mm -hmm. Why does he need to shine the light? What's important about this light that he carries? Because it's a big light. Mm -hmm. And he needs to stand in it and own it. And so many people are not awake. And it's difficult for him to be around those people. Mm -hmm. Because it just reminds him of more oppression and being asleep. Mm -hmm. So he would rather not be around anyone then have to there's a lot of empathy so he can feel it and he he just can't shake them awake mm. but if he's not even shining his light oh it's there mm. it's just keeping it he's under wraps so what would you like to have him do with that light What does he need to do with that light? Well, let it out. <laughs> In what way do you need <laughs> well, it? How do you let your light out? Well, be who you are and be strong and stand in that. Mm -hmm. And the 
the other people, you know, whatever, they either accept it or they don't, mm -hmm. and that's okay. Be okay with that. You don't have to have everybody like you. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the porch light. Some of the bugs come towards the light and they, they're they able to continue and some just die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fall away. They fall away. But you still have to be the per porch light. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. To shine the path for others. Right. Mm -hmm. So for those that are shining the light, do we need to be worried about those little moths that come and... No. Mm -hmm. They have no power. Mm -hmm. The secretive... Well, secretive's not the right word. The keeping it hidden. Mm -hmm. It, it's <clears throat> during the lifetimes of oppression he had to keep his thoughts and feelings hidden mm -hmm. to make it easier and so I guess that's just sort of become a habit mm -hmm. so he has to come out out of the closet with his spirituality now um yeah and it doesn't have to be like loud jump out and go boo <laughs> you know just sort of you know step it out a little bit yes what's happening with him since he's not stepping it out is it causing any harm um him? no it's not it's 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 he's get he's getting stronger in it mm -hmm. you know he's understanding it more and learning to wield his personal power mm -hmm. and um, you know before he has to take on the world or whatever freaking out yeah wonderful yeah it's a good thing well he tells me that part of his issues uh, that he has is not being able to meditate what's happening with that he meditates <laughs> so tell him how it is that he's meditating his life is a meditation Mm. When he works, when everything he does, it's his interior life is almost stronger than the exterior life. Mm. He lives in his inside mostly. So it's always a connection. It is always a connection, and he knows it. Well, he wanted to know what, would, how he could best connect with you, his higher self. He's, he does it already. He just needs to listen and pay attention to the messages when they come in. He hears them and he acknowledges them and then just sort of lets them go sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doesn't act on them. What happened with this thing with the house? Did he miss the boat on that one? No. He just... Um, there's, he still has time. Okay. He just needs to do it. Okay, because I was giving him the metaphor of an escalator. Sometimes you just have to wait for the step. No, it's there. It's ready. It's he just he's manifested it. it. He just needs to finish it. Okay. So he just needs to take action. Yeah. Very good. And he knows what to do. He's been told. And he he's already knows mm -hmm. what he needs to do. He started doing it. Good. Good. Who are the guides that work with him? Uh, the guides. Mm -hmm. Joshua. Mm -hmm. Is that his personal guide? Uh, he's there a lot, but mm -hmm. there's a whole group mm -hmm. that Joshua sort of is the spokesperson for her, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. Joshua. Yes, Joshua. Have they known each other from different lives? Uh, um, they have had lives together. Mm -hmm. Years, like thousands of years ago. Okay. And when when he was choosing, or they were choosing the life for him to come into this, was Joshua part of the negotiations? Um, Joshua was, um, 
he is a support guy. Whatever I chose to do or whatever I did, he would be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't really help choose the life, but he's totally on board with whatever and mm -hmm. will help any way he can. Okay. And so what is, what is Joshua working now with Kevin? Is there any particular uh, topic or... Trying to help him stand in his power, mm -hmm. stand in his light, and own it, be it. It's about time, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Past time. Now he was telling me the other day that he was doing the video of mine for relaxation and visualization. And he, when he got to the part of the bench, he disappeared. Where did he go? He he went to um, uh, not a meeting exactly. I guess it was a meeting, but not. He went to speak with guides. Mm -hmm. In a different place. In a different place. Mm -hmm. And he was there for the remainder of the meditation. Yes, he was there. Uh huh. So is that what happens when people say they fall asleep during a meditation? Yes. That they just go somewhere else? They do. Mm -hmm. And why is it that some people can meditate and some people can't? I'm one like Kevin that disappears yeah. into something else. It's, um, well, it's because you don't really need to meditate because your life is kind of like a meditation. Mm -hmm. You're connected all the time and and you have an awareness of that. So it almost seems silly to sit down and <laughs> try to make something happen or Well, that's my thoughts exactly. Well, yeah. <laughs> mhm. Mm so that's that's what's happening is yeah mm -hmm. so there, there's no need to sit down and do it mm -hmm. and and no need to feel bad because you're not doing that because you are yes your life is that is that yes yes and so Kevin is in the same boat pretty much yes mm -hmm. very good so can you tell him a little bit about his career his business what is he supposed to be doing? He always follows his heart mm -hmm. and makes decisions based on that and sometimes misinterprets and gets it wrong and then blames himself. And but it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's it's going just fine. The, the business will continue to thrive? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there something else that he should be doing? No. No. Everything's good. Everything's good. It's just, it will continue and it will evolve and just listen and trust your messages that you're getting and trust your heart. Very good. How about where he is right now, where he lives? Is yes. this a good place? It's a great place. Mm -hmm. Because he's been kind of freaking out about all of these earth changes yeah, things. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. What do you have to tell him about that? It's... <sighs> You know, everybody wants to say the sky is falling and we should all be afraid. Mm -hmm. Not necessary. You're, everyone decides what their life is going to be. Some people will experience the earth changes and it will be catastrophic because that's what they want to experience or believe they'll experience. Mm -hmm. If you don't, participate in that you don't participate in it mm -hmm. if your your life will go on as you want it to be and mm -hmm. it's what you focus on yes so you're actually creating the earth changes in your reality yeah mm -hmm. so there's nothing that he needs to no, prepare for it's fine what about this new house should he buy it yeah why not <laughs> it's Take a great a house it's not too small. Um, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. It's a, 
it's a house that can evolve in different ways. So it's whatever the direction that's decided upon, he will, it will work for that. So Wonderful. He has questions about his chakras. How are they doing? They're fine. Mm -hmm. They're humming right along. Good. What about his third eye? Is it open? It is. Mm -hmm. He always, he questions. So, why is it that he can't be as intuitive as he would? He's intuitive. He just doesn't trust it. Mm -hmm. Trust the messages all the time. Mm -hmm. He's getting tons of messages. So what would you say to people who are wanting to open up their third eye? Are most of them open already? Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. You just have to trust? Trust and, um, yeah, I mean, let it unfold and be, you know, don't, mm -hmm. don't be so hard on yourself. Let it happen. Mm -hmm. Now, Kevin is very artistic. Did he come with these gifts or is this something that he's always He came had? with them. Mm -hmm. What kind of gifts, other gifts does he have? Um, empathy mm -hmm. to animals mm -hmm. and other people. Um, he tries to shut off the other people when he's empathetic with other people because it's difficult. Mm -hmm. um, um, a connection to nature. Mm -hmm. um, he ha he's very empathetic. Mm -hmm. How will that help him? Um, well, he's able to anticipate what needs to be done mm -hmm. and does it if he gets out of his own way and stops questioning everything. <laughs> now, most people, I would assume, are here for service to others, to help each other. What is he here for? Um, you said to grow. To grow and service to others is service to yourself. Mm -hmm that's how you grow yes and to give without to give freely without expectations of them returning mm -hmm. you know just love love doesn't end it just gets bigger if the it's one of, you give it away it just gets bigger it doesn't it doesn't have a limited amount it's unlimited mm -hmm. do you grow when you give yes mm -hmm. how does that affect us spiritually as we give and empathize and love more how does what does that do to our soul it um it connects more to the universe that's what that's what it is it's love that's mm -hmm. You know, in a place like this, we forget that. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, love, it trumps all. It's, it's, uh, it just keeps getting bigger mm -hmm. the more you give. And in a place like this, it doesn't seem with physics that that should be how it works, but it is. Mm -hmm. Why do we choose to come to this crazy place? He asks that all the time. Mm -hmm. What the hell am I doing here? A lot of people ask that. What are we doing here? If it's so hard. I know. We're learning to... to... To trust ourselves, to be in our own, stand in our power. Mm -hmm. This is a place that takes power away. It doesn't encourage you to be powerful. Hmm. It tells you you're less than. 
it it does a lot of things and you have to be strong in your it strengthens your light your love once you learn that that's what it is and you can stand strong in it the other stuff just kind of falls away hmm. so it was created by design that way yeah and I yeah to challenge you yeah and to to make you grow mm -hmm. because you know coming here makes you smaller and you can get sucked in and caught up in so much stuff mm -hmm. and to keep coming back and back and back and getting caught up in that same old stuff and then to realize that you already have it you already you know and you can stand up and stand in it in your power mm -hmm. that's that's where you're headed and then that will bring you to the next levels of being mm -hmm. but it seems to me that for example when Kevin was coming to be into this life <coughs> the decision was being made for him is this a free will planet or not? Uh, how does that work it is yes it's free will but you have to <clears throat> be strong enough to have your will mm. and you have guides that like for instance he had spent so much time being held down and not standing in power in his own power he was very weakened Mm -hmm. and wasn't in a position to make the kind of decisions to that would be good for him to move forward mm -hmm. and he asked for help in that mm -hmm. what happened that's when we told him he should come here now mm -hmm. and it's going to be hot it's going to be hard but it will strengthen you and and get you to where you want to go mm -hmm. which is where uh, to to pure energy to mm -hmm. source get back home so we have to really earn our wings well we have to grow or you have to remember and grow into your power okay. I, I guess growing wings is one way of saying it but it's more like owning your power mm -hmm. and not allowing others to take it from you okay so a lot of us have a lot to learn yeah mm -hmm. yeah we've kind of a lot of us have lost our way mm -hmm. for a, a lot bit a lot of people feel lost. Is this how Kevin is feeling now, or is, um, he, or is he pretty much out of that? He's phase? he was feeling yes. very lost, but he's he's recognizing his power and stepping into it now. Mm -hmm. well, talking about stepping in, he was wanting to know if he was a walk-in. Yes. So tell me what happened. Um. When did this happen? Um. came in when another soul was ready to leave mm -hmm. but all the memories and experiences associated with the body come with it it's mm. part of the deal okay so how old was he when he checked out 30 early 30 late 20 mm -hmm. 29 so how does uh, that walk in experience work basically you're ready to check out but you don't want to die physically um the body he didn't need to go through another childhood mm -hmm. but all the memories of that well they're actually not there that That's much right. but um yeah he just sort of stepped in kind of mm -hmm. took over 
So the Kevin that was born originally in this body, yes. the soul of this Kevin, yes. what did he have to learn with his childhood and all that? Um, he, he needed to basically learn what this Kevin is learning, but he was not able to, you know, he took it as far as he could mm -hmm. and he couldn't go further. He was too weak ah, okay. and wasn't able to step up to the task at hand. Of, so he kind of gave up? Yeah, he did. Well, he, he, yeah, I guess gave up is a way to say it. He kind of felt done with it mm -hmm. and wanted out. So how is it that one requests to check out like that? Because ask. So many people may be asking, I'm done, I want to get out now. Is it that easy? Um to request a walk in? So you can check out? Well, the plan for him wasn't really to go much beyond that. Okay. But the body was still in good shape. Mm hmm there's no point in wasting it right. and so it's a perfect vehicle for someone who to step in and kind of continue it was a similar path mm -hmm. so the Kevin that is in this body now the yes. soul that's inhabiting is the one that lived as a slave woman or was that the original Kevin he is the one who lived as a slave woman mm -hmm. okay so the other Kevin soul had different past lives? Yes. Okay, that's good. The question I have now, though, is about the relationship with his mom. The relationship with his mom continued even after the new Kevin came in. Yes. And she was still pretty angry at him. Or still not having a good relationship, even though it was a different Kevin. How do you... What's going on there? The body had taken on all of the fear that she instilled in it. Okay. The body was filled with it. Mm -hmm. So the agreement coming in was you take that on. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so she was still connected with all of that. She's connected to the body. Okay. All right. And he told me that he has been doing some work on himself, releasing quite a few hitchhikers. Yeah. Can you tell me how that's working out for him? Great. How many have we sent to oh back home? Oh my God, so many. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they all came from. Mm -hmm. Was this a portal that was open in that house? Uh, yes, that same house is where the transition to walk-in occurred as well. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all the other hitchhikers decided to... Have a Jump party. on in. Jump on in. Very yeah. good. So they came through that portal in that house. A lot of them did. Mm, okay. So it's working. Yeah, he's figured out how to get rid of them. Okay. He's, see, that's part of it. He's claiming his body, claiming his power, mm -hmm. telling him to get out. Good. You don't belong here. Good. How is his mom doing? Um. She's doing all right. Mm -hmm. Did she uh, go to the light? Um, yeah, everyone kind of goes to the light. Yeah, mm -hmm. she 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 was not real strong in her own self. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she was easily manipulated with fear and control. Is there anything that they need to work out today during this session? Um, I, no, I don't think they do. I think, okay. you know, he he has done a lot of work to let that go and get rid of the fear mm -hmm. and thinking that she put it there. Well, she did put it there, but he was able to on his on his own to get rid of most of it with our help and and he was very focused on that for a long time very good very good yeah he has um three very special beings in his life yeah 
his companions, his dogs. What's going on with Milo right now? Uh. He wants to know about the mass that he has. The mass on his hip. Mm -hmm. It's uh. He takes on some of the emotions, and that's where it's kind of accumulated. Mm -hmm. Emotions of the people around him. Is there anything that Kevin to do, can do to alleviate him of that mess? Uh, basically send it energy and break it up. Okay. He doesn't need to carry it. He's just being of service. Okay. So what could Kevin do? What is, what is exactly the procedure to do to help break down this mess? Just focus energy and light on it, mm -hmm. and and just keep doing it till it breaks up. Very good. Does he need to get Milo's permission to do this before he works um, on him? No, Milo is totally of service. Wonderful. Yeah. Are there any messages from any of them for him today? Um, Rudy, Toby. Not really. They're okay, good. happy. Good. Very good. Would you please do a body scan on him? Let's check his health. Blood, there's um, elevated mm -hmm. things in the blood. What's inside the blood that's causing it's a that? Sugar, sugar, there's too much. It's blood, sugar. So, what's causing that? Um, Is this diet or emotional? Mostly emotional. The diet follows the emotional mm -hmm. eating. So what emotions are we dealing with as far as the blood sugar is concerned? Um, the emotions are... Old feelings of not being enough, mm -hmm. of lack. Mm -hmm. Do we need to work on that today? Um, maybe some. Mm -hmm. The um, he's done a good deal of work on it already. All right. Good. What about a anything else in his body that you find? Um, lower legs kind of have little outbreaks. What are those all about? Related to the blood sugar. Mm, so it's all. Those weird rashes? Yeah, it's all related. To the blood sugar? Yeah. Mm hmm Does he need to work on his diet? Um, he needs to clean it up. Mm hmm And more exercise. And more exercise. What would be the best type of exercise for him? Walking, biking. Mm hmm Okay, can I request on his behalf a motivational trainer and dietitian to help him as a yes, guide? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So that he can work with his guide and getting his health yes. checked and check? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And what about that little bump on the inside of his left knee? What's that all about? It seems to have a life of its own. It does. What is that? Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. Hmm. Can we speak with it today and find out? Sure. All right. So I'll get back to you in a moment. Let me put my hand in that area and bring that that energy up, 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 up. And you can express yourself now.
Good evening. Hello. Am I, am I speaking with the bump on his knee? Yes. Can you tell me what you're doing there with Kevin? It's angry. Angry. So are you anger? I am. Mm hmm. So why are you manifesting yourself on his knee? Not feeling like things are happening fast enough. Mm. So you, that's where you kind of anchored yourself? Yes. Why the knee? Why there? So you can see it mm. all the time. Mm -hmm. So what message is it that you're trying to tell him by growing there? Get on with it. Mm -hmm. Stop hiding. Get on with it. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of manifesting something kind of ugly on himself, kind of like what anger is? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what would we like to transform you into so that he can get on with it? What would be something good? Support and love. All right. So I'd like for you now to begin the transformation to support and love. I'd like for you now to begin the transformation to support and love. Feel every cell of his body being affected by this now as you transform from anger to support and love. And tell me when you're done. It's done. Very good. So do you need to be on his knee anymore? No. No. So let's begin dissolving that mess, beginning to now when he leaves. Begin dissolving it. And dissolve it into lots of love. Use it as a way to clean his blood, to clean his body of all the toxins that have been accumulating there from all this anger. Use all of those cells as transformation cells to bring him back to health, cleaning up the sugar, expelling it with love. Thank you very much. Let me speak with the higher self again. Yeah. Can you tell me what has occurred in his body as he was shaking? <clears throat> it was energy coming in. Mm -hmm. Where was it coming from? From us. Mm -hmm. What did the energy do for him? It will help the cleansing process. <coughs> Of his blood? Yeah. <clears throat> Very good. Do you see anything else on his body? No, looks Very pretty good. clear. Very good. So tell me about two things that he has questions about. One is why did his ankle get cut up before he went on that trip to Guatemala? so caught up in leaving he wasn't paying attention. Hmm. What did he need to pay attention to? What he was doing right then. Mm. He wasn't in the moment of now? No. Mm. That was pretty harsh. Yeah. So why is it that we need to always be in the moment of now? That's what 
that's all there is. Mm -hmm. the, be it, be. Um, to be in the now, that's, that's all there is. Mm -hmm. So whatever we're doing, we have to be there. We can't be somewhere. Be present. Be present. But I think that most of the people have a habit, for example, if they're doing something, to be daydreaming somewhere else. We talk about it all the time, about driving. You get into your car, and the moment that you are now intending to go somewhere, you tend to check out and go somewhere else mentally. Yes. That's part of the communication with 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 your higher self mm -hmm. it's a meditation so most people when they're driving are meditating are checked out yes <laughs> it's kind of weird to be driving and knowing that most people are not there yeah mm -hmm. interesting very good yeah tell me about his teeth what happened there oh What's going on with this teeth? The mouth is used as part of the way of oppressing and torturing him. Mm. He doesn't remember it all, but he doesn't he doesn't want to let anybody in there. Mm -hmm. and he needs to move beyond that so what are his teeth symbolically meaning by being the way they are what's the symbolism the symbolism is he's not taking control of it mm -hmm. because of past abuse mm -hmm. and oppression and part of him standing in his own light is to take charge. Mm -hmm. So can we let that go today? Yes, he's sort of been already working okay. on that. So would you allow me to do it for a simple forgiveness exercise so we can finish with that? Yes. All right, so I'm going to put my hand on your chest and I want you to get it all of those feelings that you've been holding for so many years start pulling them out those feelings of not being good enough not being in control being oppressed get all of those feelings out of not being good enough not being heard not being acknowledged not being seen pull all those out feel all those thoughts that are not even of you they were of someone else that was there before you these are memories that you took from another soul that wasn't even you let's pull them out we don't need them in the memory of this Kevin this new soul we don't need that you're taking on somebody else's garbage tell me when I have it all All right, let's pull it out and send it to the universe for healing. And now there's a very large space to fill. Let's fill it. What would you like no, to fill it? Let's put a fire hose in there and let's start pumping it in with a beautiful love from the divine, the divine white light, the Christ mm. light. Feel it coming in to every cell of your body. Feel it being pumped in from your head to your toes, brilliantly mm. illuminating with that love for yourself for others knowing that there is no other greater thing that you can have is love to be able to give to be able to grow to be able to ascend to that oneness where you came from back home feel that love going in and tell me when you're completely mm, full yeah all right i'm going to touch your forehead and let's seal that in feel it being sealed in mm. is there anything else that you need to make you even feel better 
No. Very good. Can you forgive yourself for having held on to these feelings that weren't even yours, that they belong to another soul? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to release all of that? Yes. Very good. So let's release it. Let's, I'm going to bring it all out. Let's release all of that. Mm. Taking all that out. Let's pull it all out. Mm -hmm. We don't need that anymore. Very good. So let me speak with the higher self again. How do you see Kevin now as we project on to the future? Pretty good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. And shall he continue to work on hitchhikers or is he completely done? I think they're out. Very good. Very good. So I have a question for you. Why did you bring Kevin here? What was the reason why you brought him here? Let him know he's on the right path. Mm -hmm. That what he's doing is enough. That he's doing it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Stop questioning. Just put trust. Mm -hmm. And is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't that you would like to tell him at this time? Um. No, feels pretty clean. Mm -hmm. Do you have a message for anyone else? He's been pretty active in, in a group, in a support group right now, of those who have been my clients. Is there anything that you would like to tell them at this time? Just trust. Mm -hmm. Stop questioning everything. You're, believe what's happening to you. Mm -hmm. It's real. Very good. Are we complete today? I think so. Thank you very much for all of you. feeling wonderful. All of you. Welcome back. Okay. How do you feel? Good. Yeah, feel good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. How long do you feel you were on this journey? Maybe 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's an hour and 18 minutes right now. Wow. A lot longer? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How's your body feel? Great. Relax. Relax? Yeah. So did you think you were hypnotized? <laughs> um, How did it feel? It felt like I was making it up. <laughs> of course it does. It always <laughs> does. So why would you make up that? And then I was like, well, when you're asking questions, I'm like, well, I'm not sure the answer is going to come. And? Some, it, something came out. Do you remember all of it? Um, or do you think that some parts you don't remember? Probably I don't remember. Mm. I think it was boring. Mm. Whatever I was... Interesting. Yeah, I don't think I said anything real important. Mm -hmm. But... You did well. Okay, good. Is this something you want to share? Well, if it's worth sharing, yeah. Okay. All right, so here we are. Yeah. We just did a session. We did it, yeah. And how did you feel before you came here? Now you're kind of nervous, aren't you? Well, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not knowing what to expect. Uh huh. And, and thinking, oh, I hope I come up with something <laughs> earth shaking. <laughs> uh huh. But I don't think that happened. But it, well, was, it was good for good. me. It was, it was good. So, how did you prepare for this? Um, I know you were asking the question, how do you prepare? How yeah, you prepare? I just try to stay relaxed and try to fight off any expectations that were popping up mm -hmm. and just let it be what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And did you have uh, the, the guy in the back seat talking? Did you have your conscious mind um, interrupting or was he pretty much okay? He was pretty quiet. Good. I pretty much told him we're doing this, so you can just <laughs> sit back there and be quiet. Uh huh. And we're talking about the conscious mind. The conscious mind likes to sabotage and tell people you're making it all up. Right. And yeah. this is not working. I'm not hypnotized. I'm still here. I was hearing some of that. You were. Yes. Yes. And and what did you do to? Didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Good. So, yeah. how does it feel to be hypnotized? Um, it just doesn't feel that different, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. 
But it was coming out pretty smoothly. I guess. Yeah. 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 And hypnosis is basically just a focused attention on right. on what you're seeing, but you were feeling pretty much the experiences of this woman. Yeah, I connected to her deeply. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. immediately she yes. was right there. Yeah. The guy on the with the waterfalls though, I don't. That was just like a place that you went okay. to kind of rest. It was you had been in in this life that was so miserable. Yeah, I needed and it beauty. Just, and yeah. it was a beautiful place to just relax. Be. Kind of ride your horse, a beautiful... Not a lot of interaction with others. No, you didn't yeah. need to. It was right. a place to just... It's almost like what we would call heaven. You know, yeah. when, when you think about, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to go to heaven and there's going to be beautiful things there. Right. And it's your reality. It's what you're mm -hmm. creating. And that's what, mm -hmm. what she created. Uh, so then we, we actually met up with your guides to plan this session. To, to plan this session. This, to plan this life. Yeah. And they were telling you... You gotta yeah, come here. Remember, I just remember some of that. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting when you watch this and. It will, it. yeah. Because there's a lot that you probably don't remember, but yeah. you did plan it, and you, you kind of like they were kind of told you you gotta you gotta come back. Yeah. And you gotta deal with this. And, and I wasn't it, making my own decision about it because I just right. for whatever reason. And you were walking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it seems that you did check out. Mm -hmm. In your thirties, and then this new soul, right? Came, I came uh, in taking and the same memories of of the other ones. So well, that's part of the deal, mm -hmm. taking all that on, yeah. and whatever's going on, it comes mm -hmm. with it. So we can choose to either die this a death in this in this body, or we can make a decision. Hey, take my body; it's a good body, mm -hmm. and uh, somebody else can use it. Right. <laughs> well, I think some of it too was not to. Um, cause trauma to the people mm -hmm. around too. Mm -hmm. They didn't need to go through that. Mm -hmm. It was your journey, and it, and that whole transition may have been planned from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Could be. Seems Could be. Like. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, would you recommend this to others? Now well, that yeah, this? yeah. So, how far did you come? For <laughs> Four that? hours. Four hours driving. Yeah. So, you came from St. Pete, which yes. is on the other side of. St. Petersburg, Florida, on the a other side. A beautiful Gulf of Mexico. Yes, yes it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So if you would like a session with me, you can mm -hmm. go to my website, albawyman.com. Very easy to sign up. I do have sessions booked way into next year. Yes. Uh, I also travel, so you can sign up for my newsletter and see if I'm going to a city near you, and hopefully we'll have a session with you. But as soon as you book the session, stuff starts happening. Yes. So tell, tell I feel like I couldn't, I maybe didn't even need to come because so much stuff had happened already. That's what happened. It's very crazy. It know? is. Mm -hmm. So cool. that's come up before in other sessions that the moment you're booked, yes. things start taking. Oh, big time. Yeah. Which the car it kind of starts rolling mm -hmm. downhill. Your answers come right. from your higher, it's like your higher self is like, woo, you yeah. know, finally, right. you know, take an action yes. and, and you start mm -hmm. getting, if you start writing a list, it's almost like the, the answers will come to you exactly. in the next they few do. days or yes. weeks and they do. you got to mm -hmm. take that off the list. Mm -hmm. Did you redo the list a few times? I did and I almost felt like I didn't even need to have any questions <laughs> and just, I wanted, thought I'll just come with no questions and just trust that whatever I need to know I'm gonna know uh -huh. and it, I mean I did have questions and you brilliantly asked them and fit them in uh -huh. but um, I s think I already knew the answers yeah it's That's great weird. it's yeah. great Do so it. yeah. there is a uh, Facebook page now that uh, my former clients have created it's mm -hmm. the Alba Wyman hypnotherapy support group and for those who have had sessions uh, they are helping to answer questions for those who have book sessions and have mm -hmm. uh, they have the same interests. So yeah. if you'd like to join that page, you're part of it. Yes. Too. Did I they am. help you? Um, yeah. yeah. And it was great having that um, interaction with someone who already had done it. Yes. yes. And um, so I know I'm going to, I told them I'm coming tonight, so I'm sure I'm going to get lots of questions. Excellent. But. So thank you for watching, yes. and I hope to see you someday in the future. Thanks a lot. Yes. Bye. Bye. Now I get my bed. <laughs>